the next 72 hours, I am going on a road trip across Europe. But here's the catch. I'm not allowed to use any kind of map. I'm about to pick up my friend Brooke and a rental car from the heart of Paris with just enough clean clothes to last for a few days and then we are off to destination unknown. So grab your toothbrush and let's go. We're going on a road trip with absolutely <laughs> no maps. Right, we're pulling out of the parking garage. I think the parking brake's on, dude. Um, what is this? <laughs> we have to go ask the guy how to drive the car. <laughs> That, that is the, the book. How? It's, it's a little bit... Well, this is off to a great start. <laughs> okay, we have our first option. <laughs> oh, right. Let's go right. right? Yeah. All right, we're doing Definitely right. going right. Oh, wow. The first decision of the trip has been made. <laughs> I almost feel like this is both stressful because I don't know where I'm going and I'm kind of a control freak mm -hmm. and also really liberating because I'm not gonna make any wrong turns. <laughs> Getting out of Paris is gonna be a lot harder than I was anticipating. Are we just gonna keep going right? Straight. Taking the next left. I think I'm gonna have to take a right. The straight seems good. And now we're going in the direction we just came from. This is a nightmare. This is the first time we've moved in like 20 minutes. Ah! <laughs> I was so stressful. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, bonjour. Uh, Parlez-vous anglais? Yes. Uh, how do we get out of Paris? Where are you going after? We don't know. Anywhere. Uh, Anywhere. Straight or left? Go left and go along yeah, the river. Yeah. Okay. Go straight along the river. Merci. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Eiffel. Il faut aller sur Saint Cloud. A thirteen. A thirteen. Voilà, c'est ça. Okay. Okay, we found a highway. No, it's not. What is this? Does that not look like an on-ramp? How do we get on that? It's like you're so close, you can just see <laughs> progress, but there's just no way to get there. You gotta get the energy back up. Ah. This is gonna be great. We're having a wonderful time. Ah. It hasn't been four, four hours. hours. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, all right, we have just arrived at our first stop of the road trip. Unfortunately, we're still in Paris, but we made it to Versailles, the Palace of Versailles. I've seen this place so many times online, but I've never been here in person, so we're gonna go see if we can go inside. In five minutes, the entrance can you will buy, be... Can you buy a ticket online? Uh, it's a little bit short. Uh, well, fine, come in here. Oh, merci beaucoup. Dude, this is Dude, I cannot believe that just happened. Just they were gonna tell us that we couldn't come in because and we couldn't film. the tickets were, were, you couldn't buy a ticket right now, <laughs> and that they're closing in 30 minutes. But we, they let us in for free. Dude. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go see. try to see just like a little bit of Versailles. They are literally closing the doors to this place behind us, and we're the only people inside of the entire palace of Versailles. Right now. This is freaking insane right what now. What is this? We're literally alone. We're alone. In the entire palace of Versailles. This is crazy. And Have you ever seen anything like this? No. <gasps> Look at the attention to detail on all of these pieces of art. I just can't believe that we were frantically driving around, not even able to find a highway for almost five hours, and we end up here. <laughs> What are the chances of that? <laughs> that was epic! <laughs> so crazy that that just happened. It just started pouring down rain though, so we're gonna continue on with the adventure. <laughs> Literally, Brooke takes over to drive for like five minutes and while I'm eating a sandwich and just finds a highway with zero signs, just turned into a highway. I don't know what direction we're going, and I haven't seen any signs. Don't even know what the highway's called, but we're making progress. I found an amusement park. We're gonna go check it out. We <laughs> found a hotel. Now we're gonna catch some scooters and find our way into this amusement park because why not add one last activity to this first very spontaneous, random day. I want to find this nightclub. Uh, it's this road, <laughs> yes? 
I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> we don't from? know where we are. <laughs> okay, okay, all the best. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Excuse, Excuse me, can map. you please tell me where on a map you are? Um, <laughs> dude, I don't know. <laughs> all right. We're up. <laughs> We're mobile. <laughs> It's right there. <laughs> well, that took one clip. <laughs> we've been recording for 50 seconds. Well, we've arrived, so Let's let the adventure go. continue. <laughs> on top of a fun house somewhere in the middle of France. This was such a colorful way to end the night and I'm so excited to see what we're gonna do tomorrow. <laughs> we are packing up the car right now and I think what we should do is flip a coin to decide what direction we're going. So tails could be the coast and heads will be north. North! It's heads! Oh, perfect! Alright, one of our first challenges of the day is going to be to follow a red car for 30 minutes. And we have just found the perfect red car and we're gonna see where they take us. Setting the timer here. 30 minutes. Ready. Go. Okay, left! <laughs> oh no! We're gonna lose him! They totally just looked back at us. <laughs> we have not been, we've been on this guy's butt. First rule, I just don't want to lose him. What if he ma he like is making super sporadic turns? Wait. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. He this lost his- why I was driving so close behind him. Oh, We're no. literally 10, less, nine minutes in. And we lost him. Oh, I think he's up there, dude, he's up there. You see him? Dude, yeah, 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 yeah. Whipping now. Oh my God, this is crazy. Well, I got up to him, no! <laughs> We're <laughs> so <laughs> No. We're Wait. literally in a one-sided <laughs> car chase right now. <laughs> oh shoot, where'd they go? Left. Was oh, it was right. And now I go straight, and the car's gonna be on the left parked. Wait, they parked? Bonjour. Parlez vous anglais? Uh, un peu. Un peu? What is your name? Milik. Milik? Yes. Okay, Lexi okay. and Brooke. <laughs> we are doing a challenge. Yes. Where we needed to find a red car oh. <laughs> and to follow them <laughs> for 30 minutes. <laughs> I want you to tell us where to go next. There are secret places here with magnificent sea views. Yes. Really? Yes. She said she could take us. <gasps> We're now in a consensual car chase. <laughs> the adventure just took a, a really unanticipated <laughs> plot twist. I think we're here. <laughs> That's at the 30 minute alarm. <laughs> and we just arrived right here. All right, ladies, <laughs> let's do it. We literally just followed that woman and she just took us somewhere amazing and we're friends now. <laughs> this is so unreal, dude. Oh, I can't wait for what's next. Oh my <laughs> god. I recently discovered that it is roughly the same distance to drive from France to Hungary as it is to drive the entire length of California from north to south. This means that the possibilities are endless for where you can end up while traveling in Europe. I think we should keep our sights set towards Belgium because I think it's amazing that you can just, you know, take off on a road trip in, in Europe and just end up in a completely different country. So that's kind of turned into my, uh, my goal for tonight is to somehow make it to Belgium. Well, we're basically just driving in circles now and it's like 8 p.m. It feels 
like we've made uh, very little progress the past like four hours, which is pretty frustrating. Good morning, we crashed so hard last night, but we have now arrived in Brussels, and I have no idea what to do in this city, but I posted on Instagram that we're here and got a response from a guy named Robin, who's from here, and he's gonna show us around today. So, I have no idea what to expect, but let's go find out. Robin! What up? Whoa, <laughs> nice to meet you, I'm Brooke. Welcome to Belgium, guys. Hi, Hi. Hi. So, you ready? Yeah, where yeah. are we going? I'm about to show you guys. Ah, <laughs> cool. Wait. Guys. Yes? Should we take a carriage tour? <laughs> Are you down for it? I've never done it as well, so let's go. <laughs> We're going on the horse! All right, guys, so there's one thing you really need to know. There's a big difference between waffles from Brussels and waffles from a place called Liège in Belgium. Um, the biggest difference is that basically that the waffles from Liège are flat and really light, or my, fa my favorite one. And then you also have the waffles from Brussels, which have like big, big pieces of like sugar inside. Ooh. So. Mm. I just want to, it's so good. Wow. It's the best waffle I've ever had in my life. If this is what the waffles taste like, what do the french fries taste like? <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, french fries are not from France. They're actually from Belgium. And I have heard from a few people now that this is the best place for fries in all of Brussels. So I'm so excited to try them. Very important stuff. The sauces in Belgium are very important, okay? <laughs> this is my favorite one. It's called Andalouse, all right? Quite spicy. Um, this one is cocktail. Basically a mix between mayonnaise and ketchup together. Easy. This, pita. on the hand. Pita sauce? Uh -huh. Okay, so you usually have this on pitas, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine with fries as well. And this is just barbecue sauce. No way. <laughs> oh my god. Cocktail sauce. It's so bomb. The sun has just come out right as we arrived at one of the most bizarre buildings I have ever seen in my life. We're at the Atomium and it is kind of giving me the vibe of an evil lair in a James Bond movie. <laughs> think of a better way to end our adventure. It has been so incredible seeing where you can spontaneously end up like overlooking the entire uh, city of Brussels, a completely different country than where we started this adventure and to have run into so many amazing people along the way that were so helpful uh, for finding our way towards an amazing adventure. But wait, before you go, as I mentioned elsewhere, I was already making the switch over to Squarespace before they reached out to sponsor today's video. So let me just tell you about three of their awesome features. With Squarespace Analytics, you can gain in-depth insights into your site's visitors and how they interact with your content. You can learn about your page views, traffic sources, audience geography, and more. With Squarespace Scheduling, you have the tools to take the hassle out of bookings and payments. Your clients can book their own appointments and pay for your services directly without you needing to do anything. With Squarespace Extensions, you now have the power of third-party tools that can help you manage your inventory, streamline bookkeeping, and ship items across the globe to help grow your business. So if you're interested, go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to get started, Started, go to squarespace.com slash LexiLimitless and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain when you use my code LexiLimitless. Thank you again for watching this video. If you want to join the Limitless Army, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and until next time, keep pushing your limits. <laughs>